Hey everyone, welcome to the episode of The Lab Report. Uh, in this episode right here, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about the updates that, that's been going on on our site. Um, so if you haven't seen our site, you if you take a look at it now, you'll probably be a bit surprised because you know we've done a, quite a bit of updates. Um, so I've been building kind of like the platform that powers um, you know, code me. And basically I want to walk you guys through some of the updates we have. So you can see now we have icons here. I know it's just like something which looks pretty, but you know, I like it. I think it looks cool. So you can see that now you can see the icons with the colors and whatnot. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, so yeah, there, that's one update. Uh, that's very like, you know, much like vanity update, but, um, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about this over here as well. Learn react on rails. And I want to talk to you guys about what this is. So, you know, members of our, our site who have been kind of like requesting this um, for a while now, like, you know, everyone's been, you know, telling us, hey, you know, you you built the, you know, the invoicing application, like you're, you're building it in your React app and you build API that goes with it. But, you know, it's in two separate sets of videos. Like, how do I watch them in, in synchronous, like one long playlist? And so that's kind of like why I invested the time into developing this feature, which is called Collections. So Collections is now, um, you know, something live on our site. You can go check it out. It looks pretty cool. So what you can do is you can, um, you can see the whole sequence of, you know, how I actually created the videos, um, you know, when we actually started learning React Foundation and then going all the way to creating, um, you know, the, the back end for the API. So you can see all that. Um, you know, in here in this one single timeline. So you can see here you go, here's the Rails. This is when we started the Rails API uh, after this episode. So it's now it's all in sync in one um, long uh, timeline. And, you know, you can, it's, it's easier to comprehend, you know, rather than skipping between, um, you know, skipping between sets, like, you know, we go into Re uh, React Foundation and then, now, you know, in the episode I'll say, hey, and now we're going to go to the Rails API uh, episode, well then, you know, how do I would know when, like, you know, when that is and switching back and forth is kind of like, you know, it's, it's a bit of a headache before and now it's solved, it's a solved problem. So you can check that out. Um, so you can scroll down and see, you know, it looks very pretty, um, you know, super cool. And what happens is when you click on one of these episodes, so let me um, go all the way up to somewhere like here. Okay, so if I click on one of these episodes, what happens is um, it's, it persists that, um, that, you know, that playlist. So what that, what, what that means is you can, in here, you can scroll and you will see that same thing. Like you'll see the, the playlist, uh, you know, just like the timeline, like it's got that, you know, Rails API episode mixed into here as well. Um, so that's pretty cool. So basically now, you know, it should be a lot easier for you guys to build things using, uh, you know, watching through the uh, React and, uh, you know, building the API along in Rails. Um, and all the way, it, 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 you know, includes the new episodes from the React Intermediate as well. So I also wanna announce that, you know, I understand that, you know, I am aware that some of these videos are out of date, um, like the Webpack videos, the Babel videos. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and revise them and re, uh, upload uh, as soon as I'm done with them. So I just want to put that out there so you guys know that I'm aware and you know I will update these videos. Uh, you know I won't update all of them because some of them con contain concepts that still work even if you're using a new version of React or MobX or whatever. It's still the same concepts like code still probably works. Um, and if it doesn't I will go through and update it uh, and revise the episodes but they will continue in the same sequence. So basically for example React Webpack from scratch, it will still be React Webpack from scratch, but using version four instead of version one or two, whatever this old version is. Um, and, you know, I'm gonna also go back and kind of like update the code base as well, like the, the, the written content to make sure that it's up, you know, it's, it's got the actual code examples and everything. So just wanna put that out there. Um, so if you haven't been to our site, check it out. We have a ton of update. And, uh, you know, as of this video being released, you should see a couple of new Elixir episodes out as well. Um, that's a new series we've started. Um, we've also updated the Rails Foundation video series, so check that out. So tons of updates coming, new features to the site, new content, um, super loaded, uh, super excited. 
and we have even more cool stuff to announce. So if you haven't become a member, become a member to support us and keep us going and keep us growing. Um, so with that, I want to wrap up this episode and I'll see you guys in the next one.